It's time to find the fees. So a lot of things there, but Jonathan McCoy in Kansas City. Jonathan, simply put, or maybe just answer this question here, why pay for a buy and hold strategy? Uh, it's a great question. We can't quite figure it out ourselves. I mean, that's why we've decided to take a, a much more active and tactical approach to investment and money management for our clients. Because ultimately, uh, buy and hold is potentially appropriate for people who are just starting to build their nest egg, you know, are looking to take advantages of dollar cost averaging and don't have such a concern of a near term downturn in the stock market. But with buy and hold strategies, if you ask your advisor during a downturn, how bad is this going to get? How low is it going to go? How much am I going to lose? Your advisor is not going to be able to answer that question. Their only option is either cash out or hang on for the long run. So having a proactive strategy in place well ahead of time is is really our primary focus around portfolio management. And if you've got an advisor that is strictly going to tell you just to stay the course, regardless of market conditions, we have a hard time answering that question as to why you're paying for that type of advice, because they're not able to give you a predictable answer on how bad it can get or even how good it can get if the market goes through a period of either flat returns or even positive returns. So it's, it leaves a lot of a big element of unpredictability, which early in someone's working career, while you're still saving, maybe you've got 10, 15, 20 years to go before retirement, that may work for you. But uh, for people who have less time to recover and less time to make up, especially if you're already retired, that buy and hold strategy, it's very risky and, and unfortunately too expensive for some people who have an advisor that's just sitting on investments, not making any adjustments. Yeah, I met with a, a gal that watches our weekly TV show on KWCH on Saturday nights at 630 Ion Retirement and hosted by the wonderful Rick Everett, by the way. And she, her name is Diana. And Diana said, you know, I've been with my advisor for over three years now and, and he's made no changes, made no changes pre-pandemic, made no changes post-pandemic. What am I paying here? And so we looked at it. He was charging an advisory fee of a little over 1%. The expense ratios were anywhere from a half to almost three quarters percent. So she was paying almost 2% a year for, for the same investments she's held on to for almost three years. She goes, I don't understand. And then he can't give me help with the tax advice. So Larry, there's a lot more to retirement, right? Than just the investments. We've talked about that. There is. There's a lot uh, that is important to address for someone. Uh, a critical component is how much you will spend. And when we start tying that together with an income plan, that gives us or gives, gives you the opportunity to see how long your money will last and then from what sources you're taking money and when do you start getting into the principal. So those are critical components. Another one is inflation. How are we going to project inflation? That's a difficult subject and you know we know what the near future might hold but we can't tell you what's going to happen three four five years down the road uh, so these are the type of things that are important to cover rather than only investments that's so true and, and in addition to just the income plan there's a tax plan component too a lot of advisors out there will say well i have software that can do an income plan that's great most Americans saved for retirement in IRAs and 401ks that have never had the taxes paid on them. So if most people are under the impression like we are that taxes have to go up in the future, you own ticking time bombs in those retirement accounts. What is your advisor doing as far as from a tax planning standpoint, helping them move that? Oftentimes the answer is nothing. Nothing. That's exactly <laughs> right. So Danny Goolsby in there in his offices in Wichita, Kansas there at Market Advisor Group, how does Market Advisory Group, how do, how do we charge and what do we give in return or what does the people that are working with us get in return for that fee? Well, this is an interesting um, topic because so much in the investment world is is a masked or a uh, veiled of uh, uh, what, 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 what charges people are being charged. And so we like to be overt. We like to be over disclosed based on what we're charging. So to answer your question, how we approach it is we we do not use loaded funds. Uh, you know whether that's a front load on a mutual fund, a back load on a mutual fund, a, a continuous load on a mutual fund. We don't believe in those. This is very much a what have you done for me lately business. And a lot of times when we feel like when the investment investment industry charges a load, they are pre precluded from helping their clients make these changes during these different economic uh, uh, points on the calendar. And so. We want to use uh, a, 
a fee-based system, and our fees range from as little as six-tenths of 1% up to our max fee is 1.5%. And again, I want to make a, the, the distinction that uh, so, much of, so many people in the industry will try to say, well, I'm just charging you three-fourths of 1% or I'm charging you 1%. And so when they start to hear that our fees are more than that, they say, well, why would I ever use you? Well, number one, you're getting tax information here. You're getting uh, legal and estate planning information here. You're getting Medicare information here. But ultimately, you're paying more usually than you realize you're paying. So when you're getting quoted something like three-fourths of 1% or a percent by your advisor, that's fine. That's the point. That's the part that he's charging you. We want to show you, peel those layers of the onion and find out, oh, goodness, I'm paying certainly much more than 1, 1.5% with my per current person, and I thought it was much less than that. We want to be overt. We want to be transparent and tell people exactly what's going on because we believe that if people understand what they're being charged, they'll be able to recognize value very fast. Yeah, and uh, met with a gentleman a mm, month or two ago, came in, had a $4 million plus portfolio, and he said, my advisor can't give me tax advice. I, I don't know what to do, and, and, but he's not charging me that much. And we peeled back all those fees and turned out it was almost 1% total in, in fees. And working with Joshua and myself showed him how he actually could take advantage of some tax savings that his advisor just was either unaware of or not helping him with. So if you want to have a conversation of how you can maybe work with a team and what might benefit you, feel free to reach out to us at 833-888-HOUR, or that's 833-888-4687. We'd love to have a conversation with you guys one-on-one -on -one with our team around the same conference table. Many advisors out there have people they can refer you to but are you going to be able to convey all that information in the moment as it's changing or maybe even the technical terms or the industry jargon or the IRS has their own language? You have to know all this stuff, folks, and you have to have someone that's working together, collaborating with you to make sure that you get the best advice.